What's going on everybody? I have the new Arma Fireteam 1.7 scale basher from Arma and it's been out for a month and it's already been reviewed by many sponsored reviewers often with no weaknesses and some even saying it's the best RC of 2022. Hmm. So RC review here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you five pros and five cons of this vehicle and in the end, I'm going to tell you whether it's worth the $750 that they want for it. And I'll show you a couple nuggets on body options and whatnot for this vehicle. Are you ready? All right, we have the Arma Fire Team 6S. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark and sunny. Now I see violet, I can feel silence. All right, hope you like that running video. We have more at the end, so hang on for that. But first, I'm going to tell you about the five best things about this vehicle, the five pros. Number one is it's a handling machine. It is a bump eating, cornering powerhouse. Uh, if you know the Arma Mojave, that thing can handle the turns and, and, and any rough terrain. This is just like the Mojave, uh, but it has a little advantage. It is basically the Mojave chassis, a long chassis with the Arma Creighton arms. So long, and wide and nice wheels and it is amazing in the rough stuff uh, and the other thing they did is they tuned the diff fluid i i love the arma creighton like 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 you guys but it's so hard to go fast with it because it's all it just wants to do is wheelie you know in the air you can do your twirls and acrobatic stunts uh, but on the ground it's hard to control this one they tuned the diff fluid lighter diff fluid in the center uh, and maybe front and rear and so it just handles it doesn't wheelie that much unless you really want it to unless you just goose it but you you know it, it accelerates like a bat out of hell and um, you can you could turn full speed um, you know on loose terrain it handles that good the number two thing you should know about this vehicle is it can jump too you know some people might say oh don't jump it it's a it's a, a fire team military assault vehicle. No, it can jump. It can jump with the highest highs. You know, like I said, it's a Mojave chassis with okay. Creighton arms. So it can, you, you can send it as far as you want, okay? Um, one thing with it is it doesn't, it doesn't seem to twirl as much as a, as, as a Creighton. Keep, just so. keep that gas on and, and you'll be fine. You just can't do too many loops in the air like the like the Creighton. But it it can jump and when it lands, the suspension is amazing. You know, it uh it uh, it's gonna take the biggest hits. The yeah. number three thing is it's durable. This thing is a is is a bruiser. So basically it they don't call it the EXB, but it's got a lot of EXB parts, meaning the, the most rugged, like the uh, the front suspension arms are really strong. The the, the shock towers, you know, they're the same thickness as EXB. The, the chassis, it doesn't say EXB, but it is super durable. So the fourth thing about it is this body is a work of art. So it is 900 grams. So it's no, no lightweight, three body clips. And it is an architectural marvel because it's like a, a, a UDR, a, a cage style body you have that structure but you don't have to deal with the the cage style uh, uh, chassis where you it's so hard to work on stuff you know i have a, a low c and a uh, Traxxas udr uh, axial capra it's so hard to work on that stuff you have to work on it from the belly this one you just pop it off um, but what they did that's special is it's captured so it's captured in so many places uh, you have these four pillars here 
that guide it here uh, to keep it in place this one this bar is captured in a a special um, shelf there S same with this and this so pretty crazy and then right here in the center uh, is an armor special where it rests on here so totally rigid structure and what's cool about it too is it it takes shock you know when you when you come from from the sky or hit something right here it's gonna be fine you know a lot of rc you know like real cars uh we we depend on styling to 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 speak to us so we so we spend the big money uh, and this one is cool it's it's got the soldiers the uh you know the motion on the on the on the guns as, as if as if they're gonna go into battle the tires are amazing because it's totally new they look like they're very high profile tires with the nice sidewalls but it's actually uh, uh, it goes up to here so it's not as high profile it's unusual but i think you have more surface area to glue this uh, and more support so really good tires vented uh, from the factory on the tires themselves so very handy the pattern is good i think for mixed terrain uh, a little bit on road uh, a lot of off road it works really good it corners really good and the fifth thing about it it is this thing is dialed you know this the support is plastic but it doesn't look as glitzy as the uh, uh, red alloy but i think it's good all the arms are supported and fan on the esc fan on the motor um the servo steering servo so i think it's 240 torque and i think it's powered with 7.4 volts so they tuned this esc to give the servo more power uh, the shock suspension is totally set up super nice and it just seems like a well sorted machine not cheap 750 bucks but it looks like they have all the details pretty dialed okay. now we're going to give you the weaknesses the cons of this vehicle no vehicle is perfect uh, it doesn't mean it's a bad vehicle i think if there's no weaknesses you don't you don't really trust the review right like hmm that review looks bought <laughs> so here's the weaknesses the first one is this body is big high and heavy 900 grams for this thing this body the Creighton body is not much 120 grams so guess what's gonna perform perform better right uh the uh <laughs> obviously this one's gonna be top heavy when you break, the body seems to, and you're at the limit, the body seems to pull it forward and it'll just tumble like this. The other thing is because it's kind of rounded, kind of egg-shaped, when it starts tumbling, there's nothing stopping it. No wing, no bumper, it just keeps tumbling. So watch out for that. The other thing is it's kind of hard at a distance when it's going this fast to, to tell whether you're, you're going forward or backward. It would have been nice to have some lights to give you some directional on which way it's going another weakness of this vehicle is it comes for s with the spectrum slt uh, slt is their 70 dollar radio not their uh, dxr which is a hundred dollar radio and what you're really missing from that one is the uh, the level of the, the smart system where you know the level of your battery uh, by looking at your transmitter if you use a smart battery uh, but more important is you don't stability control this thing does not have stability control uh, which is quite handy the when you have a, a beginner or intermediate driver and a very loose surface one good thing is the vehicle itself is very stable uh, so you can get away with with that but it would have been nice to have the option of the better radio and that stability control another downside is this thing has a handbrake feature right here you have a servo kind of a weak servo you know a handbrake can be kind of useful kind of a kind of nice to have you brake traction by by hitting that rear brake uh, get it to slide but on off-road really a handbrake a rear handbrake uh, is useless you know i gave it a lot of time first of all you got to get used to it and then even at the end of the day it's not as good as just using the brake and, and breaking your rear loose. It's so easy to break your rear loose on loose dirt. And also you, you, you break it loose by braking. And as you, as you, broke, as, as you break traction, you, you gun it, you can spin around with, with no problem whatsoever. And the fact when you're using the throttle to control your rear, you can accelerate faster 
uh, you could control your spin a whole lot better than using a handbrake, which you're not really supposed to use under throttle uh, because it's going to stress your diff differential uh, and you don't want any of that business. Novelty. So nice to play with, but it's a novelty. I would have much rather that they use that money to, uh, to get a better radio, to put some front lights or, 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 or something or, or lower the price, right? Next weakness, I would say, is it's an Arma. So you have to watch the differentials. <laughs> These two have broken diffs right now. One's an EXB, one isn't. Uh, I'm not sure which differentials they put in it. The EXB has better differentials. But, you know, for Armas, diffs, maintenance, diff maintenance and, and shimming diffs is just, a, it's just something you have to deal with. You have to get really good at it because they will break down. Uh, either new or used. When your diffs break, it, uh, it's hard to find. First, you have to identify which, which part of it breaks, and then you have, to, um, you have to see whether it's inside, outside, or the case. That's the issue. A lot of shimming, shim, shim, shim. And in the maintenance schedule, these Armas, you know, they want you to just watch the shims in the, when it's new, watch the shims after 10 runs, you know, and re-shim it after 20 runs. It's a pain in the neck because my, my Max, my Traxxas Max, Traxxas X Max, that's not even an issue, you know? Shim what? <laughs> and finally, just a minor, very minor weakness. The body has a bunch of uh, sharp little edges that are unsupported. So these things, these things catch uh, when it's tumbling and they can break. Uh, and also, on another note, there's some, some key stress points where uh, it, it can be pulled and it will yank out of the bolt holes, bolt heads, because they're small. It would be nice to have washers to better support the body into the cage. But fairly minor, just a beautiful body. Oh, another another weakness is it would be nice if they painted the um, the the drivers, you know, black on black on, you know, it just it looks undone. So as as it is, uh, we're gonna end up painting our drivers so they're more uh, visible away from the interior, differentiate them from the interior of the vehicle. All right, and finally, before we get to, as we get to the run video, something I promise you guys, some, some novelties is, this is a Mojave body, and guess what? This is a Mojave chassis, right? So, boom, check that out. Huh? Can you do it? Can you run it like this? Heck yeah. <laughs> How do I know? One of the guys at the track has been doing this Mojave with Creighton Arms, and he is the biggest with running 8S, he's the biggest sender of them all. Uh, his vehicle is amazing. So something different, you have these options. Uh, something you could also do, you can put a wing on this. You can, um, you can put one of these bodies on it. Boom. And you're going to have a beast that's going to beat everyone. Put a little wing on it. You have options. Uh, all in all, is it worth the 750 bucks? I would say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's something different. It's something very good, something that is fun. You can, it can off-road uh, with the best of them, you can jump, you can do everything. It's a lot of what Arma knows what to do best. So 750, a lot of money, not perfect, but a very, very good release from Arma. So thanks a ton.
silence is so loud.